when it comes to competitive video games, fighting games are the best. Whether you want to settle a score with a friend or just have an entertaining brawl with a stranger on the other side of the world, a good fighting game does the trick. In this video, I will show you some best fighting games for Xbox One. But before we start this video please subscribe to my channel Games Puff and press the bell icon for more gaming videos. So without any further ado let's start this video. The first game of this video is Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct is a very unique fighting game that is focused around pulling off obscene combos. It also looks absolutely stunning, especially on Xbox One X. If you're considering picking it up, we recommend you buy the definitive edition of the game which is available both digitally and physically. It includes all three seasons of Killer Instinct's content, which adds up to one hell of a character roster. You can even fight as Gears of War's General Rom. Interested? You can download a basic version of the game for free. Next up we have Mortal Kombat 11. Mortal Kombat 11 is well worth your time. There are multiple play modes allowing you to dip in at your leisure and some genuinely surprising features, including some borrowed from Injustice 2 such as the ability to field teams of AI fighters. Mortal Kombat 11's combat is fluid and intuitive, and even when you're losing it's a joy to play. It's a game that's fun, just to mess about with, but once you master its nuances it becomes even more rewarding. Next up we have Samurai Showdown. It's not going to wow you with its fairly standard offering of content and modes, but Samurai Showdown gets it, right where it matters the most, combat. Easy to pick up yet hard to master, Samurai Showdown has depth, and its responsive controls don't put up a barrier between you and the character you're controlling. Next up we have Injustice 2. It really is simple. If you're a fighting game fan who has for some reason not picked up Injustice 2 yet, now's the time to add it to your collection. If you're thinking of buying a physical copy, all of the content included in the Injustice 2 Legendary Edition is included on the disc, meaning you don't have to deal with any download codes, and it really is a great game, even if you're not going to touch its multiplayer offerings. Next up we have Soul Calibur Vi. Without Libra of Souls, Soul Calibur Vi would have been quite a disappointing entry in the series. It's missing some modes that you just expect a fighting game to have as standard now, its character creation feels like a step back, and visually it doesn't really impress. Thanks to Libra of Souls though, Soul Calibur Vi is undoubtedly the best single-player fighting game available right now. Next up we have Dead or Alive 6. It perhaps plays things a little safe, but mechanically Dead or Alive 6 is up there with the best fighting games currently available. Whether or not you decide to make your way through its joyless story mode is up to you, but there's plenty to do besides. Its penchant for showing flesh means that it won't be to everyone's tastes, but for those who don't mind its titillation it offers countless hours of fast-paced pounding. Next up we have Dragon Ball Fighters. E Dragon Ball Fighters might just be my new favorite fighting game. From its stunningly sharp and wonderfully animated visuals to its frenzied gameplay, there's just something utterly charming about it. It's a fighting game that remembers that not everyone is a pro, and not everyone plays online, and I like that. Next up we have Tekken 7. In all honesty, Tekken 7 feels so good to play that you don't really mind that it's not the most fully featured title out there. The combat is Tekken through and through, but it feels faster, smoother and more refined. Hits are weighty and feel like they have impact, even Moreso when emphasized by a beautiful combination of zoom-in and slow-mo during the most dramatic moments. Next up we have Blasblu Chronophantasma Extend. Even with my lack of Blasblu knowledge I found Blasblu Chronophantasma Extend to be a complex fighting game with beautiful character and level design. And its multiple game modes do not struggle to keep me thoroughly engaged. Gamers who are not as familiar or as interested in Blasblu's backstory will not find the story mode quite so appealing, but will most definitely find the rest of the game entertaining for hours on end. The last game of this video is My Hero 1's Justice 2. In the long term, it's My Hero 1's Justice 2's generous roster of fighters and their customization options that will keep fans of My Hero Academia going back. Each and every one of My Hero 1's Justice 2's playable pugilists is big on personality and they're wonderfully translated from a nime to video game. You'll quickly find a handful that appeal to you, get accustomed to their quirks, and then you'll want to make them your own. So that's the list of 10 best fighting games on Xbox One that you can play in 2021. If you enjoy this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel Games Puff, and press the bell icon for more gaming updates.